Native Zach Osborne has been racing since he was six years old. And despite all the success he's had since becoming a pro motocross rider, his home track has always been the one that seems to get away. No podium wins or even podium finishes. That was until this weekend at least, Osborne winning the second moto of the 250 class, the Tennessee Nationals at Muddy Creek Park, after finishing fifth in the first moto. That was good enough for a second place overall finish and his first podium ever at the track he grew up racing on. The win also extends his points lead. To, you know, get that win off my back and, um, you know, there's always a lot of people here that are cheering for me and, and faithful to this place, so I'm happy to, to give them something to cheer for and just um, overall a really positive day for me. The overall winner in the 250 class was Aaron Plessinger. He won the first moto and finished second in moto two. He says he's very happy to get into victory lane, the Tennessee Nationals. Once I got the whole shot, I just put the hammer down and, and uh, yeah, nobody caught me. But uh, they were definitely pushing hard, maybe push hard. In the 450 class, it was Jason Anderson winning Moto 1, Eli Tomic taking Moto 2, and he's your overall winner. It's been a long time coming, really. You know, it's been over a month now, or exactly a month. So, um, I don't know, I felt like I, you know, we're, we're supposed to be here. Not everyone at Muddy Creek this weekend was able to walk away happy. Kingsport native Logan McConnell was hoping to make his pro debut this weekend in the 450 class. However, he came up just a bit short, but he says he's not disappointed. It's, it's a blast, you know, just just the reality hits you when, once you realize it. And, you know, there's no greater feeling than, than knowing you made it to the professional level. It's a really big step and, you know, like I said, I'm just thankful to be able to walk away and train next week. The Appy League season is just a few days old, but there's been no shortage of excitement in the opening series between Johnson City and Bristol. The Cards getting the dramatic win in the opener and the Bucks returning the favor the following night. Let's get to the rubber match, though, in Johnson City. The Cardinals strike in the second, one on for Jonathan Rivera, who singles to second. The ball deflected by pitcher Braden Ogle. That puts runners in the corners for Wood Myers, who would also single to second. Tough play for Nelson Jorge. Everyone is safe. Luis Vandis comes home to score. No drama for the Cardinals in this one. They win 11 to 5. Let's take a look at some other scores in the Appy League. Elizabethan beating Danville 8 to 7 to take the series over the Braves while Greenville falling at home to Bluefield 7 to 6 in 11 innings. The only thing that could slow down the Kingsport Mets to start the season appears to be a little bit of rain. The undefeated Mets getting rained out at Burlington. That's a look at sports. Have a great day, guys.